why rich people of Burning Man don't suffer as much as poor people. This is Black Rock Desert, a place in the middle of nowhere. If you want to drive your car at over a hundred, no, let me rephrase that. If you want to drive your car at over 1000 kilometers per hour, you take it to Black Rock Desert and knock yourself out. And that is exactly what someone did in 1983. Richard Noble, he drove a powered jet car and he went over 1,020 kilometers per hour. That is about 634 miles. That was fast. And it is because the desert is just flat. And, you know, it's not like the Sahara. And then if you're not really content with just going flat out full speed, then you could also go upwards. And it is in the same location where people go to test out their rockets. And on May 17, 2000, uh, 2004, the Civilian Space Exploration Team, CSXT, launched a rocket into the air. And it went up to an altitude of 72 miles or 116 kilometers. So that was cool. Then some guy said, you know what, let us go camping in the desert because it will be a lot of fun. And his friends were like, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do it. We built some art stuff and at the end of the camping trip, we set it on fire. Yeah, cool. And that is what they did. And as they say, the rest is history. That is how Burning Man became a festival for, you know, art people people who wanted to do something different. That said, this is not just going to be your normal camping trip. They wanted it to be big. They wanted it to be creative, spectacular, uh, and just to be cool, you know, something that has almost not been done before. And they did achieve that. If you've ever been camping anywhere, you would have realized that it can be fun for a couple of days. If it rains a lot, it ruins the mood. If it's too hot, it just kills the mood. If basically you can just, it can never be perfect. Burning Man takes place in a desert. So that means it is going to get really hot, really dusty. I mean, like dust, dusty, dust gets everywhere. You will even wonder how dust got into your butt crack. And that is how dust of the place can be. It is said that it, the temperature can go, can reach 37 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. And at night, it can get really cold. So you need to be prepared for almost wearing nothing, be naked, and at the same time, having sufficient clothing at night so that you don't freeze to death. It is just such a crazy experience. Another thing about uh, the crazy experience of Burning Man is that it became very popular and it was something that you needed to experience in a lifetime. So more people came and at one point they were getting about 70,000 people into the desert to be part of the Burning Man experience. Everyone wanted a piece of the action and even the state of Nevada thought, okay, 70,000 people, it's bringing in a lot of tourists and a lot of chaos. We need to start taxing the event. And the price of getting into the event cost upwards of $400 just to get in. And an average uh, person going to Burning Man would probably spend up to $1,500 uh, over the period of seven days. But it has been reported that some big spenders also would spend about maybe twenty thousand dollars for a week at burning man okay this is what it looks like after you've spent a few hours at burning man burning man can be intense according to a commentator from quora he said decades long friendships have ended because of burning man so have marriages and romantic relationships another one said dust storms are fairly common sometimes creating a whiteout conditions where it has been determined too dangerous to allow vehicle traffic. So you need to bring a lot of water or else you will not make it throughout the week because you will probably be dehydrated and be sick. So when rich people saw the difficulty of having a good time in the desert, they decided, well, I am rich. 
I was not put into this world to suffer. I need to find a way to have a good time without the suffering. And that is what they did. They asked, did, does someone really have a turnkey solution instead of the DIY spirit of, you know, being creative and creating your own atmosphere in Burning Man? Could I just pay someone to do that? And pay is what they did. And they came in their luxury RVs that was fully kitted out just to have a good experience that once you're inside, you would not even know that you're in the desert. Yes shut up and take my money and that is what the rich people did so the experience for those with more money in burning man is just a different thing than when you're just roughing it out and they had electricity they have other you know uh, air conditioning they have heating they have everything they could even take a nice shower because well you're rich in 2017, something interesting happened. Apparently, Google employees shipped in a box of lobsters for a meal, and everyone was not happy about that. The true poor burners hated them because they were not invited. You see, this is something that has been called gentrification of burning man. But then you need to also understand that if you're rich, it's just almost impossible to behave and live like a poor person. It's just not possible because the whole point of being rich is just leading a different life. So over the years, more and more people are just going to enjoy the spectacle. But something that a lot of the uh, hardcore burners are trying to resist is change. But it is impossible to keep the spirit as it was when it started over 30 years ago. The, most of the people who started the festival are probably dead or older now. And when you think about the newer generation, the newer generation is coming into the festival, but with a different spirit. And that means if they need to throw money at it so that they can have a better experience, that is what they did you cannot keep the festival spirit as it was uh, when it started. 30 years later, things have evolved, people have more money, and even those, it, uh, something that was considered a fringe uh, festival at the time is now mainstream, and then that means more corporate money coming into it, more people with uh, money coming into it, and of course they want a different experience, and that is not going to change. Burning Man said, it is time for people to do what we do every year at Burning Man. Don't be a spectator. Get out there, connect like crazy with people. That is true. But rich people want to connect in comfort.